experience. It has been another extraordinary election. If you weren't able to follow it in real time, I'm going to take you through it step by step and show you the pivotal moments through the race. So we're going to start at nine o'clock East Coast time and things are looking pretty routine at this moment in time. The deep south states are filling in red. New York again in the blue column. 29 electoral college votes going to Joe Biden. Let's move the clock on. And one of our first battleground states turns blue. New Hampshire, where the president had campaigned, goes heavily for Joe Biden. Four electoral college votes in the blue camp. We'll move it on again. And Ohio is starting to point us on the direction the night is going. 14 times in consecutive elections, the last 14 times, Ohio has called it right. Going all the way back to President Nixon. Will they call it right tonight? We'll move our clock on again. We'd been watching Florida. It was on a knife edge all night. At half past midnight East Coast time, they finally called it for Donald Trump. There's evidence there that he got out the Latino vote. There's also evidence that the Democrats didn't manage to get out their base in places like Miami-Dade. We'll move the clock on again. It's now 10 to 1 East Coast time. Iowa, which went for Donald Trump by 10 points in 2016, safely in the red column. And then a huge sigh of relief at Republican HQ as Texas goes red. Not in uh, the same sort of way that it went red in 2016, but enough for Donald Trump. And the extraordinary story of the night in Texas was the turnout. 2.7 million extra votes on those that, came, that voted in 2016. We'll move the clock on again. It is now half past one. And Minnesota. The story of 2016 was that Minnesota only went for Hillary Clinton by 44,000 votes. It's gone blue much more heavily tonight. Was that the, the George Floyd story up there in Minnesota? Was that what swayed the Democrats and persuaded them to come out? And also, little forgotten, Nebraska 2, a congressional district that has one electoral college vote. So important in this race, you will have to consider that because. If Joe Biden wins Arizona, if he holds on to Nevada, it means that he only needs Wisconsin and Michigan. He doesn't need Pennsylvania, North Carolina or Georgia because he has that one electoral college vote there in Nebraska too, which will get him to the 270 mark.